Это пиздец. Это просто пиздец. At least 17 people have been killed and 40 others injured after the rocket struck Ukraine's Zaporizhia area on Saturday, further accelerating Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Russian shelling struck residential buildings in Zaporizhia, according to the statement released by a Ukrainian official. As a result of an overnight missile attack on Zaporizhia, apartment buildings and roads in the residential area of the city have been damaged. Local official Antoli Kurtev, the secretary of the city's administration, wrote on the Telegram messaging app, at this time 17 people are known to have died. Al Jazeera reports said that Kyiv has been pounded repeatedly over the recent days by Russian airstrikes and missile strikes. It's indiscriminate at best, at worst, it seems intentional, the report said. The authorities in Zaporizhia say that the Russian airplanes launched at least 12 missiles at the city. Russia is under increasing pressure on the battlefield in Ukraine, where Ukrainian forces continue to push forward in an counter-offensive that began in the Kharkiv region at the beginning of last month. Earlier, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, while addressing the nation on Saturday, said that a fierce battle is taking place around the city of Bakhmut in the eastern Donetsk region. Ukraine controls the city, but the Zaporizhia region is mostly occupied by Russia. Russian President Vladimir Putin signed a law on Wednesday declaring that Russia was annexing Zaporizhia and three other regions, a move denounced by Ukraine and its Western partners, as well as the United States, as a violation of international law. Zaporizhia is home to Europe's largest nuclear power plant and shelling in the area in the recent months has raised international fears of a nuclear disaster. The plant lost its last external power source in the early hours of Saturday morning amid renewed artillery fire and is now reliant on emergency diesel generators to cool the reactors to meet other safety requirements. All the six reactors at Europe's biggest nuclear plant are shut down. On Saturday, Moscow announced a new commander for the war, Air Force Chief Sergei Surovikin, after last month announcing the annexation of four occupied areas in breach of international law and the mobilization of some 300,000 reservists. The war between Russia and Ukraine appears to be entering a new phase after Kyiv dealt a big blow to Moscow's grip after it recaptured 2,400 square kilometers of territory in the Kherson region in the south of the country since the beginning of the full-scale war, a senior Ukrainian official said. Ukrainian forces have been making steady progress in Kherson since the beginning of offensive at the end of last month, and the successes have sparked rare criticism of Moscow's war efforts among pro-Russian figures. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky praised his forces' counter-offensive in his evening address on Tuesday. Вот, короче, ёбаные русские уничтожили дом ночью, два часа ночи. Тупо многоэтажку уничтожили. Ёбаные твари, блядь. 